the awesome as seen on TV products. Who can forget such classics as the pocket hose and the guy that tapes his boat up? Or these awesome safety devices? The Sham Wild guy was awesome. It's a little creepy, but so many great products coming to us on the television. All right, the Foreman Grill, not so bad. But what about this little gem? I actually found this at the Home Depot. This is called the Speed Out. And you're supposed to be able to remove any single strip screw you come across. Does it work? Let's check it out. So I was walking through my local Home Depot today and I came across the speed out. It said as seen on TV so I knew it had to work perfectly. And as you can see it tells you it will remove any strip screw in seconds. Now they had a couple different packages of these. One was the cobalt, this was the titanium. I figured I'd try the titanium well because it's titanium. And not only will they remove any screw in seconds, they're supposed to last four times longer. Now, they look pretty cool and I figured I would pick them up and bring them to the channel for us to take a look at. And they seem to be pretty straightforward. You have a strip screw, you insert one end of this bit, you throw your drill in reverse, and then basically drill it out. You then flip the bit and then extract it using the other side. I have to admit, I was pretty excited. And again, seeing that as seen on TV really clinched that sale. So here is the dreaded Phillips, the one that loves to strip out on us every single time that you use one. Now this is a general purpose contractor screw. There's nothing special about it, there's no special metals that were formulated to make this screw, so it should work pretty well. And you can see I'm stripping it down to the point that eh, it might be pretty hard to get out. Now I'm not doing anything special here, this is just what Phillips do. I don't like using them, that's why I use Torx, but let's really get her down in there and spin that bit a little bit. Oh, wait, it still comes out a little bit, let's strip her down even more. So there you go, one stripped screw that we're going to take out using these awesome bits that were once seen on TV. Hey, they do got a nice little carrying case, what could go wrong? So you have four different sizes here, we're going to go with the number two, I think that should work pretty well. If not, we'll try different sizes, but I'm going to take this out. We're going to throw this into the drill chuck here, just like so. We'll tighten her down, and once you tighten it down, all you have to do is drill it out. You throw your drill in reverse, not forward, in reverse. That's supposed to cut it out, leave a nice little cone ring, and then you just flip the bit and extract it. So this was my first attempt. Again, I threw it in reverse, and what I was hoping to see was it starting to cone out the top of that screw. This is some really awesome stuff. As you can see, it didn't really do the best job. So I figured, you know what? I'll just move it up to a larger size. Maybe that will help bust those out a little bit and create that cone that it's supposed to. But one of the first things I noticed was the bit was actually starting to round off itself from the general purpose screw. Seeing that it did not work the way it was supposed to, I went to a larger size. I then tried to, well, cut it out again. Should have worked perfectly. Now all I have to do is flip the bit because that's what they did on TV, tighten down the chuck, throw it in reverse again, and try to extract the screw. Let's try that. Wait a minute. That's not supposed to happen. Isn't this thing supposed to extract like it did on TV? Oh well, let's continue. I continued to attempt the extraction like I seen on TV and nothing seemed to work. This can't be true because I've seen other reviews talking about how well this thing worked. I can't believe something like this would happen where it completely smoothed down the end of my bit. So I continued to go bigger and bigger. Even using the largest bit I could find in the package, the number four. And yet nothing, it still did not work. But the funny thing is, <laughs> the Phillips bit still worked. And here what was left of my awesome as seen on TV bits. Every single one of them damaged and I did exactly what I was told to do. Even when I went to their website to see if I was doing it correctly, I was and they still failed miserably. So if you're planning on spending money on these pieces of garbage, don't. They're junk, they don't work. These were used on a regular, cheap, general contractor grade screw. And in case you missed it, it stated any screw in seconds. 
Hmm, I wonder how some of these other reviewers got it to work so flawlessly. At the end of the day, they're going back to the store. I'm getting my money back, but if you want to buy it, I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check it out. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Have you used these before? What did you think of them? Are you planning on trying it? Don't forget to smash that like button if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any other videos coming soon. And with that, we will be back with more tool reviews soon.